G'day, just setting everything up with this live feed tonight on Friday night. I'll take these out of the way. And while I'm waiting for people to jump on board, I will um, get this over to the Facebook platform. And then we'll get this Friday night show on the way. Now, what's going on there? I just wanted to share it to Facebook. Post to Facebook. Okay, that's all I need. Public friends post. So bear with me. We're just getting things started here. All right. Got 16 people already. All right. Let's get on with it. Um, anyway, for those of people who don't know me, my name's Ian Harris from Australia. G'day. How are you? AKA Ianapolis, you're a acrylic guru. All right, now I hope you can all hear me very well out there. Uh, we've got Joanne Gollis. G'day, Joanne Gollis. Dean Fowler. Uh, hello, Ian. Uh, wow, you're looking amazing. Hi, hello. Yes, well, hang on, I better get rid of that thing there off the screen there. Yes, I've got a bit of a um, blazingly good blazer. It's not a suit, it's a blazer. I quite like it. It feels great to wear. <coughs> I've got a hanky in the top pocket there. I'll put that there because you need one there. And it feels quite good. And you know when you're wearing a tie and sometimes you're talking and you're sitting down and it might pull up like that and you're going, oh, look at his tie, look at his tie. I've got something for that, eh? All over Red Rover. Not bad, eh? All right. I've also got some prompt cards here I've made up so I can prompt myself in the right direction as this show goes through its procedures. Because we're going to have a few procedures going on here tonight, all right? So, um, also, I want you to know that, um, where are we? This is Q&A. So, any questions you have, feel free, free to throw them my way, and I'll answer them the best of my ability, all right? What have we got there? Um, nice suit and tie, says Janice Burns. That's right, it is nice, but it's not a suit, it's a blazer. This one's a blazer, all right? It looks like a suit jacket. If you saw what I've got down below, it's just tracky shorts, okay? Nothing special down there. Karen Park is saying, um, hello, Ian, looking good. Thank you very much, Karen. You are always looking good as well. All the best to you and your family. Now, as I said, ask me questions, whatever you want, about your art or even about myself or my channel, okay? And I want to let you know that there are links in the description below here all right so be sure to look at those links there's one for my video catalog a lot of people don't realize how much videos I have on my YouTube channel I have over 200 there and quite a different variety of subjects so be sure to be familiar with that and check it out all right Judy Wees hello Judy how are you uh, there's a link down below for my patreons page as well that's just a platform where you might want to help support my content, all right? So that's a content, uh, that's a, a platform that allows you to support a creator's content there, okay? And it's very self-explanatory. I will state with my Patreon page, I don't go and give out wonderful, marvelous gifts because I'm busy with my roof work and my number one priority on social media would be this YouTube channel and you subscribers out there, okay? So your support on Patreons is just saying, you know what, Ian, we bloody love you. Here's a dollar or two every month. And that's much appreciated, all right? What we got going here, you might see me looking over here like that. That's because the camera's there. And my screen's over here, and I need to read everyone's messages, don't I? So, where are we? Janice Burns. L-O-L. -L. Knew you had shorts on and probably no shoes. Well, you're quite right. There's no shoes either. <laughs> you to look good from what you can put on the camera, though. Anyway, uh, painting with Yvette or Yovette. Uh, hi, Ian. Mine, don't you look not oh my don't you look nice my what a nice comment that was okay uh who else we got there marie k good afternoon just gone at 12 here uh where are you from everybody's in different places all over the world and we can only be one time in one place okay so i've elected friday night 9 p.m around the new york vicinity area time okay um we've got i'm from usa i love your blazer and your hairstyle 
thank you for the hairstyle. I mean, if any man in his mid fifties has still got a head of hair like this, why not flaunt it? All right, that's what I say. Anyway, uh, Lillian is saying hello, Ian, um, and it, it's in some kind of language. I'm sorry, I cannot understand that, Lillian. Teresa, hello, well, Tammy Hager, wow, oh. One sharp dude, thank you very much. I've got me prompt cards here, and they're going to help this sharp dude prompt this show. What are we? <clears throat> Five minutes. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll say about half an hour will go for this show, but if you just want it to go longer, just periodically put your comments there. Please go longer, and then it can gradually get longer, all right, because you are helping control this show here tonight. Uh, Mark Babbitt, <sighs> laughing at my... Uh, 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 off on the shoes and all. Good evening, Ian. Good evening, Mark. How are you? It's good to have you on board there. And thanks for your shares there. Also, I want to tell you people there, the most simplest way you can help support one of your favourite creators is see the thumbnail below. I mean, not the thumbnail, the thumbs up. Hit it. Hit that right now. Hit the thumbs up. All right? And what you can do as well is go to the share down below and share this on your social media pages as well. That's another way you're just saying, thank you very much, Ian. You're helping me out, all right? It's not hard. It's very easy to do. We've got Janice Burns. Can we buy your blending brushes? I do not have any blending brushes. A while back, I, I did have some available, and I was putting them in videos saying that, but obviously the videos are still there. The brushes are no longer available. Where I was getting them from... They don't stock them anymore. You can go to your local hardware store and buy some kind of blending brush, a two-inch blending brush, and try and copy the way that I blend. If you want to blend the way that I blend, okay. Um, hello, everybody from MN USA. Janice Burns, can we buy your blending brush? Okay, read that. Angie Parker. Hi, Ian. You look awesome today. Thank you very much, Angie. Thank you very much. I feel awesome too. And there you go. My tie's starting to do it. Look at that. I'll just fix it like that. Got to make sure I look presentable here. Uh, what else we got? Um, Marie, I'm from Victoria, Australia. Hello from Victoria, Australia. Now, it is Saturday morning Australia time. I do know that. But 90% of my followers are in the, the other time zone. That's why I've chosen this time slot and I've labelled it as Friday Night Live because the majority of the people, it's Friday Night Live for them. So do um, forgive me for that, those Australian-bound people then. All right. Um, Ispa, looking sharp, Mr. Harris. Thank you very much. Uh, Dodie, hello, Ian. Fernando from Canada saying thumbs up is automatically on your channel. Beautiful stuff. Uh, Lillian Wrangle. Hi, Ian, from Brazil. Good. You're looking. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for that compliment. Uh, Becca. That's in a font that I cannot read, some other language. Sorry about that. DJ Foster. I have looked for that type of brush but couldn't find it like yours. Okay, DJ Foster, first for a start, what country are you in? And if you're in Australia, you can find those brushes in Bunnings. They used to sell them. <clears throat> Excuse me. I hope everyone's got their coffee there too. They used to sell them in a, uh, a five set. And I used to buy two of those and sell them as a double pack. But now they're selling them individually and their prices have gone up. Okay. So, um, DJ, Canada. Oh, so, you live in Canada. Okay. You, well, you're going to have to find your equivalent de depot store or your, your big hardware store that sells everything for your home improvements and go in their paint section where you, you buy all your, your brushes and paints for your homes and try and find a brush. I do have a brush here. Here we go. Try and find something. They, they roughly look like this and you're looking for that broad face there, okay? And you're looking for stability. This has got floppiness in it, but I can control the stability. That's if you want to blend it the way I blend. I just blend like that. It doesn't mean it's the way you have to blend, okay? Uh, what else do we got here? Looking great, Ian. Very handsome. Thank you very much, Patricia. And Bruce Anderson is saying, Home Depot or Laos? There you go, DJ Foster. There's a place called Laos or Home Depot. Go to those 
paint sections there and try the brushes out. It might, it takes a lot of trial and error before you find a good brush, okay? Monica Gullen, hi all from Spain. We've even got people from Spain here. Luda Gardner, hi Ian from Spokane, WA. Is that uh, Spokane, WA? Is that Western Australia or Washington? I'm not quite sure. Jane Cunningham, would you consider doing a painting with children? Indiana, USA, would you consider doing a painting with children? With children in it, is that what you mean, or painting along with children? Um, you'll have to um, elaborate a bit better on that um, there, Jane. Um, Dodie says, I find my best blending brushes at the hardware store. Yes, we do, Louds uh, or Ace Hardware. There's another name for you people in Canada, Ace Hardware. Um, painting with your vet. Those two stores have everything, Bruce. There we go. They have everything in them. Uh, Fernando, Egan, can you talk about the canvas you use? I sure can. I will. Thank you. Um, makes his own canvases. And DJ is just telling everyone, I make my own canvases. Yes, painting with children in it. Get back to that in a minute, Jane. Um, I'll look into it, Jane, okay? It's, it's something I can look into, okay? Um, can you explain about your canvases you use? Okay, the canvases that I use... They're a tooth cloth canvas. So the canvas, the, the canvas has teeth on it, or they call it teeth. And I'll just show you one here, for example. The size of them, does it have a name on the back? No. The size of them is A3 size. It says in my all my tutorial. So that's against a human. You've roughly got an idea how big they are, okay? Now that is adhered to this three mil Foamalite board and that Foamalite board Has printable paper sealed on each side as well now these things They are flexible, but they do not warp They will warp if you've got them in severe sunlight or if let's just say You've concentrated on a hot air dryer right in the middle just over and over and over I'm Looking here instead of there It'll start to buckle and warp because I did a plain air painting and how I know this You know those clear plastic containers, and uh, storage containers. Well, that's what I had everything in. And on the back of my ute, when we finished, I packed everything up in on that, and I put the painting on top and put the lid down. And that was in the back of the ute in the sunlight. And that was a quite a hot day, very hot. And when we got home, I noticed it was a bit buckled. So it got severely burnt, but buckled, but it didn't get damaged, okay? So, I mean, who's gonna have their paintings in the severe sunlight anyway? It's not quite, I'm just letting you know that that's what can happen. I mean, the, nature, the elements of nature can destroy quite a lot of things, you know. All right. <clears throat> so I'll look into doing some painting with children and with kids here and there or something, a sort of a theme. But um, I also want to get out there. A lot of my, well, the majority of my content is for beginners. And there's some of the advanced beginner stuff in there. But the majority of it is for beginners. And I'm picking subjects that they can grasp and begin on. And then there's also some advanced beginners. So this one you're talking about with some children would probably go to the advanced beginners side of the um, viewers over there, all right? Uh, you clean up good, Ian, says Donna Fountain. Thank you very much, Donna, for that. Uh, Mark Babbitt, I agree, Dodie. At Home Depot and Lowes, you'll be amazed at the art supplies available. That's right, they're... Over here we have Bunnings or Office Works, and there's quite a the, these places are putting on supplies for the art supplies there as well. Okay, it's amazing. Uh, Yvette saying um, we use canvas board here in Oregon, very thin and easy to store. Well, these are thin. These are only three millimeter thin, which is it's probably not going to focus properly. Very thin anyway. All right, and. Probably as thick as a match head. There's a reference for you. All right, what do we got here? So check out the link for the my video catalog. Okay, um, I also have a link for my Patreon's page. I've mentioned that where you can support my content. All right, uh, there is a Facebook link below. That is where you can follow me on Facebook. Or if you want to send me a message, you might have to add me as a friend to allow to send a message, and that's all fine. But if you want to add me as a friend, 
be sure that you saw me on YouTube and you want to add me as a friend. Don't just send me a friend request because I will not accept it. There's so many empty Facebook profiles out there, scammers and all this sort of thing, and I don't need to add people that have got nothing to do with art, okay? So do mention that you saw me on YouTube, okay? Do you make your own gesso? No, I don't. Um, the, this canvas cloth that I'm gluing onto these canvas panels is already gesso primed, but because I blend the way I do with the flow white and the retarder, I'm virtually putting that over my canvas first and then the colours on top of that. Um, now, um, where are we? Uh, can you... Can you use mop brushes with acrylic paint? You can if they're quite, like, um, it depends how soft your brush is. You don't want to be too soft unless you've got a very wet surface that's, that that's going to be very runny as well. So you want to practice with your mop brush first. Get some surfaces down and some mediums on there and work out if that mop brush is going to work for you okay. Um, where else are we? Painting with you. I have no problem selling canvas boards. Well, any art is sellable. It can be even on a piece of wood. But all my panels, all my tutorials are on panel boards, canvas panels, and they are all for sale. And I have been selling some of them, and they're quite easy to frame. You just whack them in a frame. Some people have been asking, should I put glass on my painting frames? For a painting, you don't really want to put glass on it. You just want to have the painting in a frame, all right? Um, where else are we? I received my wave painting and I bought from you. I am framing it now. It's beautiful. Thank you. Oh, there you go. Dean Fowler. That's right. You bought the big wave painting. All right. There was no mucking around and that is just a big wave. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much. She's bought that and she's just in the process of um, framing it. So you can post that on Facebook. All right. I think we got up there. 43. Um, Janice Burns. Patri Patricia. Yes, I've purchased two of Ian's paintings. Canvas boards and easy to canvas boards are easy to frame though, yes, they are. Now, if you bought one or two of my paintings and you think you're gonna buy more, someone was asking me, is there any discount for buying more paintings? I never really thought of it, but I can always whack you're buying a painting. Oh, this person's bought a few paintings of mine. All right, I'll pick another one up and put another freebie in there. That's what I'll do for you, all right? So check out the art for sale in the links below. That will take you to my uh, YouTube painting tutorial paints that are for sale, okay? Everything in that link is on my Facebook page, Art for Sale, and what is there is what's available for sale, okay? Uh, when one is sold, I remove it out of the album so you are not asking for something that it already has been sold, all right? Who have we got here? Picaro, Peggy, have, woo, thought I'd missed you. Wow, Don, well done. Okay, kiss, kiss, kiss from Lillian. Uh, Marie K. Uh, what's your price? Canvas boards and stretch canvas. Worth checking it out. There we go, Janice. Woohoo! I've been buying a third painting. Woohoo! I'll be buying a third painting. Well, there you go, Janice Burns. She's bought more than one painting of mine. She, she likes my work. Thank you for your support, Janice. So I will guarantee the next painting you do buy, you will have to buy it. But I will throw in a freebie. All right? How's that? Now, what have we got here? Um, so I've just promoted my art sales there. Um, any more questions, feel free to ask. Oops, don't you look marvellous, says Picaro11. Okay, Phyllis, thank you very much, Picaro. Love your work. I'm in Michigan, says Phyllis. Hello, everybody in Michigan. Hello, everybody all around the world, the people who are watching. Okay, the art that I do sell, all payments are done through PayPal, okay? So it's pretty easy to grab an account or use a friend to make payments on the... Uh, art purchases there, okay, um, and also before we get any further, I don't want my coffee to go cold. Uh, Angela, you are so cute. Thank you very much, Angela. Got to run before I burn. Support 
take care all. Looking forward to your next show, Ian. Thank you very much, Dodie. I'll be here every Friday night line. All right, so you can catch me next Friday if you can't catch me this Friday. Um, painting with me, Yvette. Welcome, Patricia. All right. Uh, also, I'd like to thank everybody for your support. Without your support, my channel doesn't grow and nothing happens. My son's just grabbing his towel there. G'day, Reese. How are you? You want to say a quick hello? He's just, just watch that tool there. He's a, a lot of you are familiar with Reese. He's just grabbed a towel. He's going to have a shower. I just woke up and I'm going out for breakfast. Good morning. Are you really? Oh, you're going to your mother's for breakfast, aren't you? Yeah. Give her a cuddle and a kiss for daddy. Daddy, all right? All the best. <laughs> Anyway, back to the show. Um, welcome, Patricia. Janice Jones. No, hang on a minute. Sorry, I pronounced that wrong. It's such an easy name and I just pronounced it wrong. Janine Jones. I love the colour you use at the moon art you do, of the moon art you do, and for the tips and inspiration. Thank you very much. And where I was before, I was thanking everybody for your support because you and me, we are here like this. We're a team. I'm not up here saying, oh, thank you, look at me, aren't I popular? No, 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 no. We're all at the same level, okay? And that's the way I would like it to be, all right? I try and come across as real as I can. When the camera's on, sometimes my voice changes a bit from real life, but I am the way I am now and in real life, okay? Anyone that knows me personal can back me up on that. Bruce Anderson. Love Reese, he's too funny. There you go. He's gone now, but I'll, I'll let him know that. Amazing advancement on your technology. Carolyn from Canada. Amazing advancement on your technology. Okay, thank you very much for that. Caroline Richardson. Jane Cunningham. What kind of glue do you use to glue your canvas board? Love watching you. Thank you very much there, Jane Cunningham. The glue I use, in Australia, we call it contact adhesive. It's like a brown caramel colour. Um, and it's the sort of glue that you've got to do both surfaces, get it tacky, and then it'll bond. But I'm getting it in a spray can, so I'm spraying the canvas board. I spray the back of the canvas cloth. I let them get a bit tacky, and then I push them together, and they stack. And I use a um, applicating tool. It's like a tool that the sign writers use it's called an applicating tool and i squash all the air out of it squidgy all the air out of it and let them rest to dry then i trim them to the sides of the board okay so it's adhesive contact um i just gave my friend the port hole in space i did for her birthday she loves it jd foster's sitting there thank you very much i'm glad that they love that um fernando do you have a preference in colours you use? Not really. I suppose some artists do, but um, I don't really. I'm just like I'm quite. Um, I quite like the way the colours turned out in this. Okay, but I had no idea that was going to happen. I knew how I wanted the sky and that, but this sort of happened like that. And I don't have a preference to colours. Okay, I just realised now. The longer I've been painting with acrylic. If you're painting a sky or something like that, you want to keep the, the colour um, light, not so heavy. Say like a blue sky. You don't want a dark blue because it's going to dry even darker. Some of my early paintings, the skies are so blue. It's like, my goodness, the sky isn't even that bluey colour. So you learn as you go along. All right. Um, Mark Babek is asking... Wonder if you can do a space scape such as a nebulous with space clouds and planets, of course, including stars. Well, there you go, Mark. That it. Someone like you needs to look at my video catalog because I have stuff like that in my video catalog. There's over 200 videos there. Just to show you what I mean, I can just run into my sewing room because um, I do have a sewing room. It's where I sew buttons on clothes when they fall. I'll just go and show you there what that looks like so bear with me a minute okay mark this was a two-part video i can't remember what number it is unless i've got it written on the back okay it's tutorial number 24 
Can you see that without the light? The first half was the sky. There we go. There's the camera there. And then the second half was just like Earth. So we've got space and Earth, and we've got the storm lightning meeting them in the middle, okay? So there's that one there. I'll just see if we can get a better view on it with the webcam. I'm pretty sure that's what you were asking for, um, Mark. All right, let me know. So that is tutorial number 24, Moon Lesson. All right. Now we've got some more questions there. Bear with me. Hey, you all. I also use my cat to sign my paintings. Love your work. Learned a lot. That is from Sadie Ryan. Good stuff, Sadie Ryan. Um, Lynn. Hello, Lynn. How are you? Um, Nancy. Love your tutorials. Thank you very much, Nancy. Appreciate that. How can I get your water without turning so blue or black? How can I? How can I grey water without turning blue or black? You want a grey water? I, I, you you would want to use the colours you're using in the sky or the, the if it's alongside of a lake with trees. You want to use those colours and mute them down with a bit of white. Grey them down a bit with a bit of white. Try that, um, Bruce. Uh, Fernando, Ian, I meant the brand of colorants, preference of manufacturers. Oh, I'm using Atelier Paints and Matisse. I'm using the Atelier over Matisse, but I have Matisse there. Uh, I use those two uh, manufacturing um, artist quality um, acrylic paints. Okay. Uh, love your videos. Thank you, says Mary. Marie. Uh, Jupiter, would painting a koala be for advanced, not beginners? Yes, it will. I'm going to get this koala happening one day. Um, it will be for the advanced beginner because the um, there'll be just too much going on in there for a beginner. And I don't want to confuse beginners, so I always like to state in the video when I'm doing an advanced one that it, it is for the advanced beginner. The beginner is always welcome to give it a go and learn where they go wrong so when they get to that part in their painting journey again they know that they've already been there and to step over that puddle and not get wet it's that easy eh all right nancy is i really love your clouds wish i could replicate them but i'll keep practicing that's what it's all about there what was it nancy all right because um a lot of beginners don't realize um, the simplest things in art require practicing, and that is such as blending. Work out how to blend colors. You need to practice these procedures, uh, and even those fluffy little white things in the sky called clouds, they look simple. They're only one color in general. They've got a few tones going on in there, but they can be one of the most difficult things to paint on a painting as well. So you need to practice, all right? And I do would like to let people know, uh, let's say uh, you're a beginner and you're watching a tutorial of mine, watch the tutorial and know what's in that journey ahead in that video, know what colours and mediums we're going to use, see what mistakes I might have made if I made any and where you know not to go wrong or see what I've done in the video and then you can alter it your way. Then you can go back to the beginning, you've set everything up and you're painting and pausing as you go along with my tutorial, okay? That's the best way they can work for people. Uh, what kind of boards do you glue the canvas to? Thank you, Patricia Lewis. I'm gluing them to a final light board, but you can glue it with that adhesive to almost any cardboard or wood surface, okay? That's awesome. Love your painting lesson, says Cindy. Um, I'm just seeing, okay, I read that one there. Ian, what kind of boards do you glue? Oh, okay, sorry, I read that one there too. Uh, Nancy, I really love your clouds. Wish I could replicate. I've read that one too, sorry. Uh, do you just do landscapes? Do you just do landscape? No, I do not. Check the link in the description below. There's a link for my videos there. There's over 200 tutorials there. There's some advanced beginners work in there. There's, there's some animal stuff. There's... Um, uh, portraits in there there's a whole lot but the majority that beginners are looking for is either water skates landscapes sunsets moon settings and things like that all right um, please paint rose and flowers in a vase says Joanne Gollis um, 
I've never studied flowers. I mean, you need to know how to paint flowers there. I, I'm not one for painting flowers just because I've never done it. I haven't got into it. But when I do get into it, you will surely see the work coming out, okay? But at the moment, I haven't got into it, and I'm not just going to get into it and think, oh, I can paint a flower. This is how you paint a flower. I want to know what I'm teaching before I teach it, okay? So I'll be honest with you there. I cannot paint flowers at the moment. I haven't done them to, enough to teach you what to do about them, okay? Um, I just did the best clouds following Ian, says DJ Foster. Thank you very much for the feedback. Uh, Mark Babbitt, love it. Was wondering space with no earth reference, more space fantasy. Your blending techniques would offer so much. Yeah, well, there was no earth in that one, Mark. That's um, That was just the moon. That, that's just the moon in that one. But you can leave the planet out and just have all this sky and what is it called? Nebulas and mist and space, space colours going on there. What have we been going on? Oh, we haven't asked. It's 30 minutes. Okay, you want this to go a bit longer than 30 minutes or sort of can it up around about now? Love your tutorials, Ian. Do you varnish your paintings? I used to in the beginning, but now I don't. Sometimes I do. I buy a good varnish from the art store. It's sort of a matte satin finish so it's not going to be bright and glossy and it does bring out the vibrancy in your colors when you do that so i have done it and some get done some get left out okay so um it's that's totally up to you and i have varnished spray varnished um acrylic paintings even when they've been a bit wet still it hasn't bothered them at all okay so check out the links in the descriptions below for um there are four there there's one for my facebook patrons my art that's available for sale, and uh, my video catalog, okay? What else we got going here? Always longer. We love listening to you, says Bruce Anderson. So Bruce Anderson would like me to go longer. Anybody else? Uh, you can tell me a rack off if you want. I can handle it. Uh, Nancy is saying, can you recommend a good blending brush available in the USA? Um, no, I cannot. Not really, because I'm not in the USA. I do not know what you have to offer. I can only recommend what you can find in Australia. Um, I'm sorry I cannot help you there, because I'm not in the USA, and I just don't know what you have, okay? So I wish I could help you, Nancy, but I'm sorry. Um, he uses brushes from the hardware store, says DJ Foster, okay? Yeah, I use things like this, all right? They're good for blending. You can get different sizes as well if you're doing a little cloud or, you know, you've got your cloud with a bit of the, the bottom on there. You can blend that. Um, I use these. Um, I'm not really sure. Actually, next time I go to the art shop, I will ask, show me your blending brushes. And I just want to see what they have in the way of their blending brushes. Okay, look at that. Me, me tying jacket's a bit crooked. I'll straighten that out. There we go. Got the hanky going there. Didn't forget about that. Um... Go to the makeup department and pick up a blush brush. That's if you want a, a soft, a soft, a blending brush. See there, there's people out there that can um, paint with um, glycerin. Glycerin is a lot different to, let's say, the retarder I use. Glycerin is very, very watery, wet compared to retarder. And when you put glycerin on your canvas, with your paints it's going to slow down the drying time you can use a very 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 soft brush to sweep that across it's going to move like egg white whipped egg white it's going to move very easy and it will dry different from when you finished it it's it's slowly settling over the painting as time goes on where the retarder you need a brush a mop brush will not work with the retarder the way i do it it might work when you first put it on but you're going to find you need something like this where you can control it and stamp it and twist it and manipulate it, okay? Uh, wondering how you balance work, day job, and still create time to painting or you do. Sorry for a long question. Don't be sorry, Mark. Uh, how I do that is um, I give up a social life. I don't worry about going out partying and yahooing with all the friends anymore and doing what we used to do when we were younger. I just love to be at home feed my cats I go to work and what I've got up there on my whiteboard now I've got four tutorials already filmed and uh, the four of them are already been just finished editing 
and I'm posting up videos on my YouTube channel every Wednesday and Saturday, okay? So I might find three hours to muck around to film a video and then do my normal thing throughout the day and then I might find another four hours to edit that. It's all done. Put it on the list ready for the next video. Where before I was filming it, editing it and quickly posting it up the same day, that was doing my head in. So I do find time. It's just managing it in different stages and blocks, okay? Janice Burns is asking, okay, you've convinced me to buy my third acrylic guru painting. I want that sailboat you keep showing the viewers. J.D. Foster, thank you very much, Janice. Okay, well, later on, not now, but later on, you message me and um, we'll get the ball rolling for that, okay? And you need to keep resending me your detail because it's a bit hard for me to go all the way back up through our conversations and try and find your details again, okay? <coughs> Where are we? Um, uh, makeup brushes, I mean, says DJ Foster. Jonesy saying, longer thank you. Did you actually just say we can use glycerin as a retarder? Um Check out Anthony Gray. He uses glycerin. It, it manipulates your acrylic paints in a way where you're getting a longer wet window with your paints, okay? I'm not going to say yes and I'm not going to say no. I've never used glycerin, so I don't understand it. I know how it would work, but I'm not going to teach you how it works because I've never used it before. I can only say how the retarder works for me. I know how retarder works. Retarder is a medium designed to keep your acrylic paints wet longer hence being able to blend them like an oil okay uh longer okay read that i i got here late says antonio uh so i hope you have haven't answered this already but is your blending brush natural or synthetic hair um they're not natural they're synthetic okay they're just synthetic um the natural ones are not soft. You get those gesso brushes that are really thin surface area here. They're normally white, a big broad hand handle. Those gesso brushes, if you're using those to blend, they're going to scratch the lip and buggery out of your beautiful painting you're trying to everything. So synthetic. Mark Babet, you must be on. No, sorry, I read it's not the best. You must be my mind twin. Same here. Thank you for the answer. Uh, Fernando, enjoy Foster. Enjoy a Foster when you're finished. Always enjoyable. All right. Enjoy a Foster. Grayscale uses glycerin, says JD Foster. JD Foster. DJ Foster. Sorry for the mispronunciation. Karen Hall. I just want to say hi. Thank you for your videos. Thank you very much, Karen Hall. I appreciate everybody's support and the way you support my channel because without you, this wheel does not turn, okay? What else have we got here? I'm just checking out my prompt cards here so as I know what to say. Sometimes when you go live, you're caught in the moment and you're just scratching your head wondering what to say and what and what to do. So just remember, I can go through the questions again for those late comers. Um, if you want to add me on Facebook, send me a message and tell me you met me on YouTube. That way I'll accept your friend request. Without that, I will not accept it. Uh, you can follow me on Facebook, but if you follow me, you might not be able to ask me questions, so that way you might have to add me as a friend if you want. Because I'm only adding friends on Facebook that are interested in my art and my interest in art as well. So if you're interested in art, we've got something to share, okay? um the painting there's a link for my paintings available for sale there in the there's four links in the description below take your time at the end of the video to see what each link does for you where it'll take you you can purchase any of my um, tutorial paintings there uh, whatever's in that album is available for sale when it's been sold it is removed okay uh, and all the payments for the um, uh, the art is done through PayPal. And it's pretty easy to grab your own or a friend's account if you don't have one of those, all right? 
Uh, what else is always, always there? Uh, there's my video catalog. There's over 200 videos in there as well. Okay. So once again, I want to thank everybody for supporting me and keeping this platform alive, all right? And this is every Friday. I want to come across whether I'll scrub up this good or not. I don't know. We'll just take it as it comes and we can connect. It's our way of connecting and answering everyone's questions. Makeup brushes, I mean. Um, thanks. Do you actually say, listen, got here late. Sorry, Gray. I just want to say thank you for your videos. This is Karen Hull. Thank you very much, Karen. Thank you for your support. Good evening. Just want to say hi to everyone. Got to that one. Do you have a PO box for fan mail? You can message me. I've had people like, I forget, forgive me, but I forgot who sent me this cup. But people have been sending me cups. I don't, I'm not in desperate need of cups. Um, but you're more than welcome to send me fan mail or gifts. Uh, you message me on Facebook. And I'll send you the address there. I don't have a PO box; it's my own address. Okay, um, Janine, I've only started painting in January. Your videos have helped me so much. Thank you very much. You're welcome, Janine. I'm glad that they're helping you in your art journey. And just remember, Janine, the more you put into your art, the more you will get out of it. Okay. Thank you all for all you do, says Dorothy. I finally make awesome clouds, says Karen Hall. That's it. It's a great achievement when you've, you've got your clouds mastered. Okay, now the next step is layout. So as they're not looking flat on the sky, you want them to look like they're coming over your head. So just try and grasp that sort of visual within your clouds now. Put some dimension into them, okay? And if you've already got it, uh, that's wonderful. All right. Thank you, Ian, says Mark Babby. Uh, thanks a ton for your videos uh, from India. Can you try a subject reference from India? Some thought, maybe. Okay, I'll look into that and vanish crash. All right. Maureen, um, Ian, look how handsome you look. Thanks for all you do for teaching us. Thank you very much there, Maureen. Yeah, I've, I've sort of, a few people have said I look quite handsome tonight. I think it's because it's the blazer. I'm wearing a blazingly good blazer. It feels good. I've got me tie in the middle. Got me hanky there like that. You need a hanky up there. I've got suits, but this isn't a suit. It's a blazer, okay? It's got a, it's got a bit of a pin up there. I don't know if you can see that. It's there as well. Um, what else have we got going there? The only way I can request on Facebook is through Messenger. I did, but did not. I did, but did not. Uh, Tamara start your question all over again so i won't get lost in it okay and just start all over again and tell me what you were saying there uh not get a response i did not get a response uh you'll get a response on facebook if you tell me you've met me on youtube i get my friend request notifications i ignore that i go to messenger on facebook and i see new requests and i see people telling me they met me on youtube I go at the top and I see they've sent me a friend request and I'm confirming it. If you've just sent me a friend request, I will not confirm it unless you've stated in a message that you met me on YouTube, okay? I, I don't know how much more clearer I can get about that. Did not get a response. So, Tamara, hopefully that helps you out. Just let me know again, okay? Um, I don't use Facebook. How else can we contact with you? Thanks for your tutorials, Fernando. Um, well, the only way you can is message me in videos. I, I, that's the only platform I have. You can write a comment there and I can always um, reply it when I get to that comment. But um, um, you're probably one of the only few in this world that are left that don't have a Facebook, I think. Um, get yourself a Facebook going, even if it's just to do with just art. If you don't have to add friends and families, just add art people that are into your likes, okay? Safia is saying, what size canvas do you recommend for beginners? Uh, well, a 30 centimetre by 42 is what I use. That's not a too bad of a size. It's about, where are we? It's about this size here. So this size is A3 size. Half of this is A4, which is about that big. You can do practicing on something that big and then you can do a beginner full painting on this. But be sure that you've practiced elements that you're going to put into a painting first. Don't watch a tutorial 
and just paint and think, oh, it's not working, it's not working, it doesn't look good. It's only because you haven't practiced, so it just requires a lot of practice, okay? Um, is retarder the same thing as medium, says Tasia. Retarder is a medium. A medium is something you're putting onto your canvas, okay? Um, so it is a medium, all right? Um, who else we got there? Is it possible to blend? Just water into into sky. I think you meant. You can use water to loosen your paint a bit to transfer from your brush onto your canvas. But I wouldn't go bombing water into your paint and try and keep it wet longer that way because it's not going to blend. Okay, water is not a medium used for blending. So try it. You practice what you're thinking on somewhere. And you'll see the difference. The uh, the proofs in the pudding when you actually do it. Okay. Looking sharp, my man. Enjoy your work, says Patricia. Thank you, Patricia. Angus Parker says, Ian, I appreciate the time and effort you take going into detail. Every detail helps. You never talk. You never take us for granted. Thank you. You're very much there. Absolutely. And why should I take you for granted? Use of what getting me here. We've got a platform now. I'm I'm putting the art out there for you to learn from. And we're an even keel here. There's no one higher or lower. Okay? And use other spokes in my wheel which keep the wheel turning. All right? It's that easy. I've got my coffee going here. I don't want it going cold. I'll tell you what. I've been on here for 46 minutes. Do we keep going or do we stop? All right? You let me know while I'm having a mouthful of my coffee. Now it's a good coffee when it's still going down. Remember, hit like, folks. It helps Ian. That's right. I was just going to say something regarding that when I was drinking my coffee. Take the time now to stop. Hit the like button below. Hit the like button below. And but all right, I've just done that. Uh, favorite, I'm going to share it on Facebook. So share and onto your Facebook or your Twix and winches and wenches, whatever those pages are, uh, what are they, um, Instagram, whatever you can share it on, share it on your social media sites there, and it's getting me out there to more people, and um, that's how it all works, okay, give it the thumbs up and share right now, it's not that hard, okay, you know, some people, we take, might take for granted what's the normal thing to do on the social media and in the, on these computers. And that. But there are some people that are just getting into it in their senior years of life, and they don't know these simplest things, so they have to be educated on this. And that's why I like to bring up such simple things as we go along as well. Marie Kay, keep, keep going. This, it's the first live I've made. Um, okay, thank you very much, Patricia. How old were you when you started painting? Oh, I started painting in 2012. What are you nearly off ready to go, eh? Yeah. Well, Tom, you'd be back. Well, you better say goodbye to the people. Goodbye and good luck and good on you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you have a lovely day. You too. All right, see you, mate. I love you lots. Okay. All right, where were we? He's just gone out to have lunch with his mother. Um, share, remind them to hit the bell. Yes, that's all. That's the people that have subscribed. Go and hit the bell. That'll notify you when I'm posting a YouTube video, whether I'm going live or it's a tutorial. A lot of people don't do that. A lot of people do do that. Um, share, remind, hit the bell. Yes, I've said that. Avalu. Uh, what's your most inspiring place to visit for your paintings? I haven't visited anywhere. I've just um, find ideas or make up ideas. So um, I'll try and find things that a beginner can grasp that's sort of a bit different looking, that's sort of gravitating your eye to it. That's the sort of thing I'd try and go for, okay? Okay. Um, Mark Babbitt has um, hit the like, done already, share everybody, do the same. Ian is invaluable, says Mark. Thank you very much, Mark. You're a champion there. And Mark is also the, uh, what do you call it? Oh, I'm bad with words. Administrator. 
he is the administrator for I think it's Rockheart or Ionic Art, something like that. Check Mark Babbitt's, he's got an art page there, it's a group, and you can post all your glory, beautiful stuff on there and say hello to Mark, all right? Uh, Sandra Barth, was your blending brush that you, that thick when you bought it new or is it from use? Over time, they gradually fare out a bit, but where's the, can you see the broadness on the face of that? Right? They're roughly like that. And I start stamping, twisting, and then putting some motion into it as I'm blending. All right? You might see me if I was just blending. You might say, okay, grab a blending brush. You don't just start blending like that. You can ruin it. You've got to, you've got to feel your way in. It's like walking into the cold water. It's like you're slowly doing this. You're getting in there and then you finally got in the water and you're comfortable. It's the same with my blending. I'm tiptoeing into the water and then I'm blending and you've got a grasp of it, okay? What else have we got there? Uh, April is saying Q, Q, what the letter Q, Q means. I don't understand that. There you go. Mark Babbitt's put his thing up there. You can put your, you can put your page up there if you have a group. I don't mind doing that. Iron Decoit Art Club. Everybody is welcome to join. So there you go, Mark Babbitt. Look in the questions there. He's, he's put his um, art club there. I do not know how to pronounce that, but it is a place in America he's informed me. Some of those places in America are quite difficult to to grasp. Um, Linda is saying, thank you for all your valuable advice. Can I make a request? All right, I'm going to read your request. Would it be able to display the reference photo you do with your painting in the corner of the screen? Oh, I put the reference painting in the opening credits, and if I'm using a reference painting that needs understanding, the camera shots go to that. I, in my editing system, it's, that's to do with editing to get that up there. Some people have it, some people don't. Unfortunately, I don't. Um, so bear with it, okay? You do get to see the reference in the opening credits. And if I'm using a ref I mean, you get to see the painting in the opening credits. And if I'm using a reference, I'm always going from the painting to the palette and we might go back to the reference. Now over here, we're going to do this, that and the other because of that reason. And we're going, we're going all over the place through the editing of the video, okay? Uh, um, Mark is saying I did perfect for the pronunciation. All right, I, I, I will try it again. Where did we go? Um, blah, oh, it's gone. Oh, here we go. I N D Coit Art Club. I N D Coit. Is that right? There you go. Mark Babbitt's got an I N D Coit Art Club. It's, so you people that you want to share your art, if you've done anything artistically, put it on his club. There, join it. Read his. Um, I suppose they all have their do's and don'ts, don't they? Um, Good night, Patricia, says J.D. Foster. Patricia Lewis is saying good night. Here I'll go, J.D. again. It's D.J. Foster. Sorry, D.J. All right. Um, what else do we say? Also, uh, where are we here? I'll just see what else we can, we can catch up on. Okay, so check the links in the description below. Any newcomers that's come across. We've been going for 53 minutes. I might wrap this up around an hour, Mark. I think that's pretty fair, all right? We'll give it about an hour. Um any art you want to buy from me, message me on Facebook and payments are done through PayPal, okay? And what else is there? Check out the link for my video catalogue. Now, I have over 200 videos in my YouTube catalogue there and so many different subjects to choose from as well or to learn to paint. And there are a lot of me talking and talking and talking into them. So there's always something you can pick up, all right? What kind of palette do you use, says Maryland Smith. My palette is a it's a sheet of lightweight aluminium and I have it covered with greaseproof paper, you know, baking paper that you put in the oven. I just have it clipped over the board so when I'm finished painting, I can just screw it up and then my board's clean, ready to go again. I just wrap it in greaseproof baking paper. Um, Happy New Year, says Nancy to Abenesash. Uh, Kamoi is saying, Happy Guru 
yeah, some language I can't understand. Sorry about that. Cindy Straith. I painted a perfect dolphin thanks to you. Oh, that's so good to hear. This is what I love. And I love it when you're putting your stuff on Facebook and I can see what you've done, even the rendition of some of the tutorials I've done. And you're doing a really great job. And you's, it, it really makes me feel um, humble and appreciated seeing you do that. And sometimes I'm, it's like, this is so great. I'm, I go in there, I film it, I upload it, this, that, and the other, and edit. But it actually goes to good use, and it's so great to know that, all right? Um, Mark Babak, one more point I must say. Your Q&A quality is now awesome. I know you put some effort of improvement and were concerned. Great job. Thank you very much. Yeah, I just bought a better webcam, so you can tell me about the sound. This microphone, I'm not using that one. I'm using the silly little cheap one because I was doing a lot of tests last night and this one was always, even though it's plugged in, it was cutting in and cutting out and I'm watching the playback and all of a sudden the sound's gone. I go, I do not want this to happen when it's actually live. So I hope the webcam is a lot clearer than what my previous ones were. When I try to blend Ian Way, my paint seems to smear. Am I using too much paint? Well, that's where the practicing comes into hand, into hand here. You need to work out your paint and your retarder and blending and work out if you're blending too heavily or not heavy enough, if you've got too much paint and it's just glugging the paint around all over your canvas. You need to, this is why I do state that you need to practice, okay? Even if you get one of my videos where you can see Wow, I really love the way that sky and cloud worked out. Yeah, just watch it over, just that bit there, over and over. I've done that when I was learning. And you really pick up things the second and third time that you'd never saw the first or the second time, okay? You pick up so much. And then just things that I'm not saying, look at the volume of how much I'm putting on there or how I'm actually manipulating that brush onto the surface. What's there, what isn't, how much. You can learn so much by repetitive viewing on a certain part of a tutorial if you think. It might not be your favourite tutorial, but that part where the blending was done might be tickling your fancy, okay? So that's something you can do as well. Ian. Uh, Ian, would you consider pictures from your fans around the world using your tutorials? I've done that. Not every request can be used because they don't fit the criteria that I use to do my tutorials on, okay? So I always look at requests, and if they can get used, they'll get put in the catalogue there ready to be used, but if they cannot, unfortunately they cannot. But don't take bad offence if they cannot be used, okay? Um, sounds great. Video two, says Mark Bevick. Thank you for the feedback, Mark. DJ, don't forget to wipe the brush. That's another thing. There you go. When you're blending... You always got to wipe the build up off that brush, okay? It's important. So watch all these little aspects when you go back and watch a video, okay? Mary McMillan. Sound is great, Ian, in Tennessee. Thank you, 10 p.m. here. I love the chat. Thank you very much. I'm only going to go for about an hour. We've been going for 58 minutes and 30 seconds. So we're nearly ready to, to close it down. Uh, thank you, my friends. You're the best, says Bruce. Oh, thank you, my friend. You're the best, says Bruce. Thank you very much, Bruce Anderson. Bruce Anderson is an up-and-coming. He shares a lot of his work, and I see what he puts out there, and he's just going to go higher and higher and higher with his art. It's looking really great, Bruce, okay? You've done excellent. Keep it up, okay? Even though there will be days where you do things and they go, that looks like snot. Snot just happens in art, but... You learn from your snot, all right? And yours is getting wonderful, I will say that. And there are people out there like Janice and others. They're showing me their art, and it is beautiful, absolutely beautiful, and I love it. I can't say that enough. What's the make of the blending brush, please? It doesn't have a make. It's just from the hardware store. I mean, I can tell you what name's on it. Perfect finish, but it doesn't have a, a, a make. And, and I'm not here to promote companies. All right, but something like that in your hardware store um, will 
get you blending the way I blend. Um, great Q and A, Ian. Love all your videos. Thank you very much. Uh, looking good there. Ian says, learned. Oh, Rod Moore. G'day, Rod Moore. How you going? Love watching your stuff too. Rod Moore's another um, artist. He teaches people there. So feel free, Rod, if you want to add your link on my feed here. I don't mind that. He teaches beginners and advanced beginners how to paint, um, how to understand your colours. Uh, he is a very handy person to watch as you transform in your art journey, all right? Oh, look at that. Let me I'm a bit crooked again. I don't like that. Get it. There we go. It's all straight. All right. So, Janice, thank you for the compliment, Ian. You're welcome, Janice. Uh, I want to thank all of you for your compliments and thank you for your support once again. I honestly do thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. It's you people that keep me here, okay? Yeah, the crowd's dropped down to about 35 now, so I'm going to start wrapping this up. I'm just saying a few goodbyes. Jones is saying thanks, Ian. Have a great Saturday off. View more. There will be another video coming out in a couple of hours from now being uploaded on YouTube, so look out for that. Okay, I'm with you, Linda, says Kaimi. All right. <coughs> so check out the links in the description below. See what's appropriate for you. Give it the thumbs up. Share, like, and subscribe, okay? I'm going to say goodbye, good luck, and good on you. And it's Uru from The Guru.